Good day, everybody. Got some basketball on TV here. It is uh, media day. The NBA will be back very soon. But that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking football. Did your team wake up with a win? Mine did. Hello, Trizzy. Let's spin this wheel. What is up, everybody, on Tika the Talk and YouTube? Come on. Do, 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 do. Let's all get naked. Uh, let's all get naked with juices and Marcus Houston. Pause. This, the, mon this, this today's Monday, Marcus. The Monday night football game. Come on. <laughs> A couple years ago, I was very hard on the NFC East. And I should have been, just like everybody else should have been, because the whole division was garbage. Now, things are different. Look at what we got, bro. We got the Giants playing the Cowboys tonight. All right. Yes, the Cowboys situation is terrible right now because they don't have Dak. But for once, for once, and y'all y'all know, I don't really just have beef with the Cowboys like that. But for once, this game isn't just all about them. Because the New York football Giants, they're 2-0. And they could win tonight and become 3-0 and be tied with the Philadelphia Eagles, who are arguably the best team in the National Football League. And then you got the commanders down there doing whatever the fuck they're doing. Um, it's been, this is week three, right? It's been three weeks. Saquon Barkley, still one of the best running backs in the league. He has, how many yards does the man have? 236 rushing yards. Now he was the number one rusher for, the, uh, for two weeks, but you know, Nick Chubb, Cordell Patterson, Jonathan Taylor, Christian McCaffrey, and a quarterback named Lamar Jackson, who, by the way, beat the Patriots yesterday. Uh, they're in the top five right now. But back to this game, bro. Um, I don't see the Cowboys winning tonight. I don't. They faced a very bad uh, O-line last week and a, and, a, and a Bengals team that's still trying to get it together. I think it's different when it comes to the Giants. We all know the Giants. They have the defense. And again, Saquon's, the, Saquon's there, and it's hit or miss with what you're going to get with Daniel Jones. I think uh, a big factor tonight is that uh, K Kayvon Thibodeau, I think that's how you say the man's last name, the uh, edge rusher from Oregon, uh, he's back tonight. He hasn't played since the preseason, and he got hurt in, uh, in the second week of the preseason last month. I think he is going to be a big X factor tonight. I think he's going to uh, put a lot of pressure on what's the quarterback's backup name Cooper Rush Jerry Jones whoever the fuck it is yeah I don't I don't think the Cowboys are gonna win tonight I don't and telling you man I'm not saying that the Giants are gonna I'm not gonna say they're gonna make the playoffs but with Dak being out and the commanders being absolutely garbage this could be interesting between between them and the Eagles and hey bro again it's a fr it's a breath of fresh air, honestly, <laughs> especially in this division that not everything is just about the Cowboys right now. There's a lot of stories going on, but there's more stories that are more important than, hey, Dak is hurt for the Cowboys, honestly. Hey, let's spin this thing again. My computer screen is dusty. My computer screen is dusty. I need to... Re <gasps> oh, please, please. Oh, please. oh my God. I don't even want to do this. <laughs> this is so meaningless. Hold on. All right, we're going to spin this thing two more times, and I apologize for the trash-ass commanders popping up. Come on. Gallagher. Ooh, Gallagher. Gall Y'all ain't see my... I got Gallagher right here. Gallagher, Gallagher, and I'm eliminating all challengers. Let's talk about Giselle's husband, boy. Let me get a little water. Excuse me. <clears throat> Voice is a little hoarse, a little, ras a little raspy. You know, you get, you, get, you get excited and you scream a lot when your team is winning. You know, whenever, whenever, you make, whenever you're making a certain quarterback throw interceptions, you're pressuring him so much that he can't really do shit. You know, ain't that right, Trizzy? Patriots fan, Trizzy. Y'all know if y'all watching YouTube, TikTok, or anything on our Facebook page, for questions, there's a fan named Trizzy on there, Patriot fan. You know, he said all the stuff that the Patriots are going to do to the Ravens, and I wasn't bothered by it because what the fuck do I have to be bothered about? Because it's Mac Jones. Who is that in comparison to Lamar Jackson? I, I, don't, I don't know. Do you know? There's nothing to know. Huh? Trizzy, you good? How was your breakfast? How was your lunch? How's your dinner going to be? Cool, but just know I will be shuffing up shit talking meals to you all week. <laughs> My friend, bro, I love you. I love you, but your ass is mine all week. Aaron Rodgers versus Tom Brady could have happened yesterday for the very last time. Um, 
We all know how Brady's personal life is, and it's pretty much a guarantee that Giselle's husband is not going to be on the field next season. His career will be over after this year. We could get this game again in the playoffs, possibly, but yesterday could have been it. And I hate the fact that it was such a trash game. Defensively, cool. Offensively, mm, it wasn't it. A lot of players missing, though. Godwin's still out. Mike Evans suspended. Uh, Sammy Watkins, you know, he wasn't out there for Green Bay. I knew that would affect Aaron's playing a lot because he hates all of his rookie receivers out there and who the fuck is Randall Cobb. Um, but the Bucks, man, until everybody gets healthy, they're not going to be explosive. Yes, Fournette's out there. Love seeing Cole Beasley on the team again, man. And I love the praise that Brady gave him of uh, it looks like he it looks it feels like I've been I've been playing with this guy for 20 something years. Now, that was cool to hear, bro. Cole Beasley is a really good football player. But until everybody gets healthy, man, like this team is not going to. You know, I, well, I just talked about them. If 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 the Eagles play the Bucks right now, like who? <laughs> you feel me? Like that's not that's not even a competition. It's not, bro. So like, yes, Brady is there, but we can't trust. Ooh, it's the goat. It's Brady. They're definitely gonna. No, it's not like that right now, bro. It's definitely not like that. Uh, and it's really not gonna be like that Sunday night because I think that the Chiefs are gonna beat the shit out of Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. When have we known? It's very rare that the Chiefs lose back-to-back -back games, bro. Very rare. So I don't have any faith. With, with everything they got going on, all these players that got injured, unless something magically happens where everybody gets healthy really quickly, I don't see the Bucks being the Chiefs on Sunday night. I think it's going to be an absolute massacre performed by Patrick Mahomes. This is the last bit. This is the last. Uh. Uh, this is the last spin. This is the last. Hey, the 49ers. Starring Mr. Jordan Mason of Gallatin, Tennessee. The Jordan Mason tracker was very easy uh, for all of us that live in this town. Uh, uh, seeing somebody from this small ass town of Gallatin get on a national stage like Sunday Night Football in a primetime game um, against the Denver Broncos. It's incredible, bro. So. Very happy for Jordan Mason. Now, of course, when it comes to the 49ers, um, I think Shanahan is still trying to figure out how to use Jordan. And, you know, if we're being real, Wilson's running the ball very well for the 49ers as a starting running back. So I think when Shanahan figures out that Jordan could be a good two, a, a good complement to Wilson, he'll start putting him out there more. But I don't know. I guess Shanahan wants to put more trust in him. I don't, I don't know what's going mean, on. We're not... I'm not a coach. I ain't even played the game. <laughs> no, nobody knows what's going on in Shanahan's mind but him. So hopefully we'll get to see Jordan out there a lot more going forward. Um, and honestly, locally for us, bro, that was the highlight of last night because in general, that was a garbage ass game. <laughs> bro, that shit was ass. That shit was ass. The whole game. Russell Wilson don't know where the hell he at, what he's doing. Sierra don't even know. The, 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 the coach don't know. Nobody knows. It's awful. It looks terrible in Denver. It looks absolutely awful, bro. And, you know, some people thought they were going to struggle, but not not to this magnitude. Not this. And if, if it went good win yesterday by, by the Titans, if it wasn't for the Raiders being 0-3, the Denver Broncos would be, would be the worst team in the AFC West. And that is hell for them because, again, Patrick Mahomes, Justin, I know Justin's hurt, but Justin Herbert. And the Jags won yesterday. I know I'm talking a lot of like shit didn't come up on the wheel. But the Jags won yesterday. They beat... The Chargers. And, you know, and Russell Wilson, like, you're all in that same division. And, like, you don't have a win for the Raiders. That's terrible because they're already behind in a very good division. But, I don't know, man. Jimmy G dropping back and getting safeties. Like, it just looked bad last night. And one of the worst parts of last night is that, that they lost Trent Williams. Um, and he's going to be out. He's got a high ankle sprain. The same injury that Mac Jones has. The Baltimore Ravens, we beat the New England Patriots yesterday, by the way, if, if y'all didn't know that, if y'all didn't know that. But um, yeah, he's going to be out six to eight weeks, just like Mac Jones is. And that's going to be hell for the 49ers O-line, bro, especially with them facing the Super Bowl champions on Monday night. Man, I know the, uh, the Rams are still trying to figure it out. They got a win over the Falcons yesterday. But, you know, the Rams, again, they're still trying to figure this thing out, bro. But that defense, they could eat Jimmy G alive on Monday without... Uh, without a player like Trent Williams being out there, for real. So we'll see what happens when it comes to that. Again, great to see Jordan out there, but I think we can all agree that game last night was ass, bro. <laughs> and that's the wheel, baby. Appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all be good.